Well, g'day fishers, welcome back to our weekly fishing report. All I can say is the fishing around Port Stephens is absolutely extraordinary at the moment. Uh, it's just crazy it's how good it is. And to be honest, it's not just the marlin fishing, it's other fishing as well. So as we do each week, we'll begin with the estuary, some still some good flatties around. Plenty of really nice flatties in the lower half of the bay at the moment. So if you concentrate your efforts on the lower half of the bay, so fishing from Soldiers Point down, uh, anywhere around uh, Wanda Headland at Salamander there, if you're shore base, Corlett around Royalwood Reserve, some good flatties through there, and back down around Corlett, and all the way through to Shoal Bay, especially the eastern end of Shoal Bay, up underneath Tomaree Headland, some really good flatties around, but the key to it, get up super early, get that first light bite, and away you go. So you can either use soft plastics, uh, or just those good old brine pillies or white bait, and slow roll them around. You'll do pretty well on the flatties. Uh, if you want to shoot over the other side of the bay, Jimmy's Beach fishing pretty well at the moment, especially around Barnes's Rock and the entrance to the shortcut there. So fishing really well there too. So some good flatties around at the moment. Uh, a few Bonito showing up off the breakwater at Nelson Bay. There's also been a couple of Mulloway landed during the week, especially in that full moon. Uh, so the break wall fishing well again, it's just those northerlies that make it a little bit harder of an arbor. But definitely on that incoming tide, there's been Bonito whizzing up and down the break wall there, feeding on really small bait. So those five to 10 gram armors are doing the job, especially in that white color, doing the job on the Bonito there. So good to see Pelagic's back in the bay at the moment. There's probably gonna be a couple of kingies underneath those Bonito if you're keen on doing that as well. A few squids showing up in uh, around the moorings at Shoal Bay there, so that's a good sign. So uh, if you're keen for a feed of squid, they've been a long time coming. I think the floods last year sort of deterred the squid, but definitely worth a crack at the squid at Shoal Bay at the moment. So too the arrow squid at Little Beach there, just on dark, but use small jigs. You've got to use those 1.5s to get the job down there. So fishing in the bay, going pretty good at the moment. Still plenty of whiting around. It's that time of year, water's warm, plenty of whiting over the flats. If you want to pump nippers or get some live worms, you'll get plenty of whiting at the moment. And those good old surface lures will do the job as well. So definitely fishing well in the bay at the moment. Now on the beaches, warm water, 23 degrees. Sensational for a swim. Went for a swim myself down at one mile the other afternoon. Lovely, uh, but there's plenty of whiting around as well. So if you're keen on doing that, Lots of whiting on the beaches, pick a gutter, any gutter, live worm, and away you go. So get up to Fingal Spit there, you'll do pretty well. Don't need to cast far. A lot of people think you need to sort of cast over that back break. That's not true. That first little gutter does the trick. So just a nice light sink, especially when there's no swell around. You can just lob it in there. If you find a little bit of white water, the, uh, the whiting will just hang right on the edge of that white water there. So uh, give that a crack. Uh, Samurai will fish well, especially in a northerly. Um, if you can tuck in under uh, Middle Rock there, you'll do all right too. And the northern end, obviously, of Barubi there. So you can walk down there. If you've got the four-wheel drive and go down a little bit, find a nice gutter. So definitely worth fishing the beaches and uh, be worth a shot at a mull away off the beach this time of year. As always, on our Bennett's Beach over the other side there at Hawk's Nest, fishing pretty well for mull away over the last week there, that's for sure. So give that a crack. Just remember, only allow one mull away per person. So there you go, because on the beaches at the moment you can catch multiple if you're uh, in the right gutter. Just remember if you're gonna kill one, it's only one per person, so there you go. Uh, also on the rocks, now, a little bit of pelagic action. I wouldn't say it's red hot, we haven't heard of any long tails at the moment, but they won't be far away, another month. But definitely uh, plenty of bonito around, lots of bonito on the headlands, uh, sunny corner, one mile point, boat harbour, uh, Barry Park at Fingal, all those exposed points fishing really well for Benito. There will be kings around as well. Like I said, Benito, uh, sorry, kings love eating Benito. So uh, don't be afraid to throw a bigger stick bait out there or even throw out a small live Benito because there will be some big kings hunting around with those Benito schools at the moment. So a few little Mac tuna mixed in with the spread as well. But uh, at the moment, that's about it on the pelagic action with the Benito and the kingies. So it won't be far away. Like I said, and those long tails will start to happen. So. Give that a crack off the rocks. If we get that little bit of swell uh, from that cyclone, it'd be worth fishing for a snapper off the rocks just after that swell as well. So uh, floating some baits out, fresh potato will do the job. Give that a crack as well. Now, big news on the offshore, but we'll begin with uh, our bread and butter species on the offshore at the moment. There have been plenty of trag around, plenty of mulloway around on those offshore reefs, as I said, for over the last month. Uh, it's been fishing really well, and it's all to do to that water temperature, that 23 to 24 degree water pushing in there just gets those reefs, especially those deeper reefs, fired up. 
Uh, the good old mine traps off the back of Little Island, that 40 to 50 fathom country. It's 100, 110 metres, fishes really well for Mulloway this time of year. Uh, you'll get any guy out there, there's even been pearl perch. So uh, some actual real nice pearl perch. I spoke to Neil, uh, he actually got some really nice pearlies in that 80 to 90 metre country. So, which is good to see some pearlies starting to come down the coast and visit our waters. So really good eating. No, they're not actually. If you catch a pearly, just drop it in here, I'll take care of it for you. So uh, snap around as well. they have been a little bit more finicky on that full moon, but that deeper water seems to go. We've got those new vexed uh, jig heads and uh, bait catches as well in at the moment. So those new vexed heads working really well for that deeper water as well. Come in and check them out with those squid skirts on them. Working really well on the reds there. Spice them up with a bit of bait and away you go. Uh, trag, like I said, trag pretty much everywhere at the moment. So the outer V, the 21, Boulder Bay wide, all down through there, there's plenty of trag. So if you want to get a feed, you can do the good old flathead drift out in 40, 50 metres. Around the islands there, if you go for a troll, plenty of bonito. So if you're keen on doing that, lots of bonito around. Good fun for the kids as well. Just a small skirt, a little bib minnow will do the job there. You'll find there's heaps of rat kingies, especially on those eastern points. I know the eastern point of Little Island, there's lots of rat kingies at the moment. Same to the front of Fingal, so if you're keen on doing that. The larger models seem to be in the shallows as well, those bigger kings if you want a live bait or stick bait for them as well. Lots of bait around, you'll see the bait rippling around, and that's where you want to concentrate on your kings at the moment. Uh, other news, a couple of cobia being caught. Spoke to Benny on the Calypso, who was marlin fishing. Actually caught a cobia, so there's a couple of coves being caught around. I heard Chook got a nice one as well, so... Few carbs, coves starting to uh, to get in on the reefs there, so definitely worth a shot. If you're going to burly up, put a live bait out, I'm pretty sure that you'll find a kingy or a cove at the moment. Now, the big news is we've had an absolutely extraordinary black marlin bite over the last month, and it keeps getting better. I keep saying it about 1997 only because back then I was a young fella and enjoyed marlin fishing, I still do, but 97 was an extraordinary bite. Will this year rival? So far, it's getting pretty close. Big numbers of black marlin uh, on the inshore reefs. And to be honest with you, they're not fixated to one spot. Uh, you get 50 boats over a reef, guess what? You're gonna shut them down straight away. Those fish will just disperse. Just think outside the square, fish are moving through every day. So you don't wanna be fixated on one reef. They're moving through. I did that the other day. I fished a, a little lump that I got with a bit of bait on it, caught four in an hour. So. Don't be fixated on those bigger reefs like the Giver and the V and places like that. Spread out because those fish will actually swim. So they actually swim around. They don't just sit on one reef. They'll move around, they'll hunt the bait, they'll move in with the wind and the current. Uh, so that's a little bit of a tip because I think it's been a bit tight out there, rigger to rigger. So uh, like I said, move around and you'll find more fish, that's for sure. But uh, speaking of the Scotty Thorrington uh, on Haven Charters on the Freedom there, Extraordinary numbers. Uh, I think he had a day there two days ago, 16, another day of 12, another day of 15. Crazy numbers. Uh, Benny on the Calypso, same deal. 10s, 13s, 12s, just incredible fishing. So we'll wait and see if it's still gonna keep going. Uh, speaking to my mate, Chozer up at Harvey Bay. We had a fish actually recaptured in Port Stephens that he released only 98 days ago. So pretty cool to think those fish are traveling down, which they do. It's the migration of the black marlin from the north from Fraser Island. But speaking of Chozza, he's still seeing black marlin on the outside of Fraser Island there. So still more to come down the coast there at the moment. If conditions are right, it'll keep going. So we'll see how we go. Don't forget, not this weekend, but the following weekend is the start of our tournament season. We're bidding with the, uh, with the Billfish shootout. So uh, bring it on. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, go and give it a crack. Looks like not a bad weekend. Watch that swell bit of nor'easter. We'll see how it goes, but definitely worth a fish.